Okay, so we met each other at the filming in Oxford and we were sat on the sofa in between um, actually doing the recording and I just clicked with you and said, you know what, it'd be great to have someone like you just come on the call and um, tell everyone a bit about your story because you're in a similar position to me, you're in, a, you're in Ireland and you guys have, we've had Alex Webb's mentorship, but it's so nice to have someone that has had training from a different perspective and, you know, even just to look at this business from a different angle is eye-opening. So, um, Amy, do you want to start with your story and just sort of introduce yourself so everyone knows who you are? Yeah, I'd love to. Thanks, Dan. So, yeah, um, welcome, everybody, and thanks for getting on tonight. Um, can you hear me okay? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, okay, because sometimes my internet isn't great. Um, okay, so my name is Amy, and I've been part of the Juice Plus company now for two years this month. And to be honest, I don't know where that time has gone. Um, it's after flying in. So my background is beauty. I'm a beauty therapist. I've been a beauty therapist now for 11 years. And I had a beauty salon for six years. So I was used to traditional business. And like I said, I had a traditional business for six years. And um, the day I found out about Juice Plus, I was actually on um, a business training. So I had come to a crossroads in my business and I wasn't sure whether I wanted to continue or maybe go down a different path. So I decided I would do this business course and then I might have a bit more clarity out of it. Now, like I believe in the law of attraction and I believe certain things come into your life for a reason. And I really was meant to go on that training that day because I met a very special lady. Uh, by the name of Laura McClory. So I was in the training when I seen Laura and we got chatting. Now, I, I've always had an interest in health and nutrition, to be honest, um, and well-being, but at the time I wasn't really looking after myself. And I suppose I wasn't feeling as good as I should have been. And we got chatting on the break. Myself and Laura actually went to college together 10 years ago. So we got talking and I was there with my healthy lunch and, you know, she was saying, you're obviously into health. Have you ever heard of a product called Juice Plus? Now, I, I had never heard of it, um, but I always laugh because it must have been like a dream customer, you know, for it. Because like I literally ordered a gold plan there and then. But uh, I'm one of these people that I've, I, I try anything. And the fact that it was fruit and veg and the fact that it was raw, it really appealed to me. And one thing that really stood out to me was that the veg one was green, the berry one was purple and the fruit one was red. So I knew straight away that, you know, this was raw, this was just fruit and veg and it seemed to be just exactly what she said it was. So I, like I said, I ordered that day start taking the product so like i said my energy was really low at the time and um, i wasn't as healthy as i should have been and i was on b12 injections for 10 years of my life so this was just a normal routine for me i would have my b12 injections and um, every six or well, i have blood tests every six weeks and my an injection every week because i was so low sometimes i would have them twice or three times a week and um, that's literally how low my bloods were now i started to take juice plus and I actually felt amazing straight away. My energy levels, like I just had amazing energy. My moods improved. I actually, I started to crave more fruit and veg. I just felt amazing. So two weeks later, I went and got my blood test done and my blood tests weren't only level, they were clear. Like they were like well above the normal level. And for me, that's not a coincidence. Like my body was obviously absorbing it. It's also to say that it's not gonna solve everyone's B12 deficiency, but that's what it did for me. And that was massive, you know, to not get my injections, to not get blood tests. So from there, from that day till now, um, I haven't needed an injection since, which is unbelievable. Um, at the time, I had quite bad anxiety that has subsided, of course, you know, day to day pressure. Sometimes we can get a little anxious from now and then, but nothing to what I used to suffer with. Um, like my hair grows like so long, my nails, my skin. And I always think if your hair, skin and nails is healthy, that means your organs and everything inside is really healthy because they're the last to get nutrients, you know? So to be honest, for me, I fell in love with the product. And like I said, the salon, people could see a big difference in me. And that's when I was approached um, by Laura about the business. Now, I actually told her I had no interest in the business because I was really, really busy. I was running a full-time business as it was. I didn't know where it fitted in. And then I was thinking, would it be more expense? So, but as a matter of fact, I was already doing the business because people were asking me, you know, 
what I was on, they could see a big difference in me. Like I had this energy. I obviously looked healthier. I was just a different person to be quite honest. So I was naturally enough telling people about it. I was getting orders and I was sending them on to Laura. The business is that easy. I was literally just telling people like if you, you know, as girls, <laughs> if you were using like a new type of makeup, naturally you're going to tell people about it. If someone was to compliment on your skin or your makeup, you would naturally just tell people what it is. And, you know, let's say they might buy them boots or they might off, buy it off Mac. Mac is making money, but you're not, but you have no problem doing that. So I was doing the same with Juice Plus. I was telling people about it and referring people on to Laura. So she approached me about the business. Like I said, I politely declined because I was too busy. And when she pointed out, I was already doing it. And then I was like, you know what, let me have a look at it. I'm also the type of person that I have the fear of missing out. So I was thinking, you know, <laughs> what if I don't do this? Like, what if I was to say no to this? Like, like, what if? So I said to Laura, I was like, come on out, you know, let me have a look. And when I seen, like, so for us, it's 60 euro to join the business. And a once-off fee. And I was like, what's the catch? Like, and as she said, there is no catch. So this was like a dream to me, like working in traditional business, you have so many overheads, as you probably know yourself, Dan, so much expense, so much stress. So this was so welcome to me. And basically then in the last two years, um, I've reached qualified national marketing director position and I have had time of my life. It's, it's been absolutely amazing. Um, I've got to do so many things like from the video with Dan, like that was like amazing. Um, I was brought to QNMD school. Um, I was flown over um, from Ireland to London for a weekend. I've, I, I've literally had the time of my life. So that's basically my product and business story in a nutshell. Um, as of November, I actually closed my full-time business. Um, and so I do my beauty part-time and I'm also then, you know, pretty much full-time us now which is amazing it's incredible wow, it's so good. you got any questions Harry? no i think you've got questions okay so what um what top three tips let's do that one first what top three tips would you give to people who have just started out and maybe they're struggling to find customers or find team members you know because that's the, the the essence of the business really so what would you say what would i say well i've, I've quite a few tips here but what I'll, i'd say is if you're new to the business you need to be completely in love with the product. You know, and another big thing I would say is you need to be on all of the products. So let's say you're only on the berry capsules and you're wondering why you can't get customers or maybe you're only getting berry customers is because you're only going to sell what you're on. So I feel if you're on the premium capsules, first of all, you're going to get the best results quickest. And if you're on the smoothies and the bars, you're like, not only is your results going to be better, but you're go then you can upgrade to plans and packages. So you can then tell people, okay, and you can customize things. So I definitely think that is one thing that I would always tell my team is that you need to be on, all of our juice plus products and um, so that's a massive thing and plus like i love the smoothies just as much as i love the capsules i really like the bars you know it's a whole lifestyle you need to be a product of the product is what i would always say so there's no point you know in you telling people to get healthier if you know you're not doing it yourself you know you need to do the one simple change concept like i would always tell people you know start off by drinking more water taking your juice plus taking some extra exercise and leading like starting to make small changes realistic small changes um, and people will start to follow you people will you know want to do what you're doing and you're going that's attraction attraction marketing basically so you're going to attract customers because people are going to see the difference in your skin how you're getting healthier how you're going to get fitter and that is going to attract customers and people say to me like like if you are you know, doing everything you should be. You don't need to worry about how will I get people? Who are these people going to be? What you need to do is you need to, like I said, take the products, fall in love with them and use your mentors. Your mentors have been in the same position. So use them. You need to listen to them. They know what they're doing. They know, you know, so you just need to literally be teachable. So like one thing for me was I was always really teachable. So sometimes, you know, let's say someone's new in the business and they say, do you know what, Amy, I can, I know I, I, I got this, like I can do it myself. Like fair enough if, you know, you feel you have a different way, but like we've done this already. We, like we've made the mistakes. Like there was a time where I was like, no, I think I can do this myself. 
you can't do it on your own. So I would always say, listen to your, like use your mentor, use your uplines, listen to them. Um, another major thing um, when you're new to this business is to you really, 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 really need to get to an event. Um, I was only... I was about two days in the business when I went to my first event. Um, and there's a reason why we are so passionate about events because they really do grow your business. They make you see a massive vision when it comes to the business. And I know, you know, it can be a little bit intimidating or it can be a little bit scary when you're going into a room when you don't know anybody, but I promise you it'll be the best thing you ever do. I walked into a room of 50 people. I didn't know, I knew one person um, and Laura wasn't there that night. I remember there was, there was an event and there was 50 people and I knew nobody. I walked out with 50 new friends because everybody's there to help you. Everybody's so positive. Everybody's so nice. So it's about putting fear aside and actually just going for it. Get to the events. We have a huge event now coming up in, um, in three weeks' time, just less than three weeks, and that's Birmingham. I'm sure you've heard about it so many times. And what I will say is the events, like if you're serious about this business or if you're new to this business and you, know, you want to know more, you, you need to be at the events. Like one thing that I really think has stood to me in my business and why my business grew so fast was that I never missed an event. Like I became just addicted to it. I just love them because you're in a room of like-minded people, of positive people. Like you might necessarily learn anything new if you've been in the business a while, but you will never forget how somebody made you feel. You'll never forget somebody's story or somebody might just say something to you that might just trigger something. And that's what the events did for me. We also have the best in the business. We have the best doctors. We have the best nutritionists, we have the best scientists. Like I've met Dr. Nigel Nichols. Like how amazing is that? Like, and you learn, like I suppose, a whole new appreciation for your body, for health, for nutrition, for the product. Oh, I think somebody is. Um, no, oh, I thought sorry. I thought somebody was saying something there. So my top tips. Well, my to I, I have a lot more that I want to go through. But my top tips for the business would be to fall in love with the product, listen to your mentor, and uh, be teachable. And the third would be events. Amazing. Cool. I'm just scribbling Liz notes down. Have you got any questions? Um, yeah. What Amy? What do you do when you have like a brand new person? Um, like we have certain things that we send our new team members, um, like sort of step by step guide. Like you know, write a list, listen to Jim Rohn, get to an event, get on a product. What What would you say? What's your process for setting somebody up new? Yeah, to be honest, like I always say, this business is so so simple. Um, it's just not always easy. And I think that the more simple you keep it, the more duplicatable it's going to be. And like, sometimes I find when we start off in the business, we can overwhelm, you know, people and, you know, try to give them too much information. It's that simple. You know, take the product, get to events, write your list of names, mm -hmm. get excited and have an event. I would always get people to have an in-home so, or like a get together, you know, with a group of people and um, like, like exactly what you're doing. So I get, make sure they're taking the product if they aren't already and um, just get them excited, get a get together because then they're inviting their family and friends and that's your warm market. So they're the people you want on the product first. They're the people that are probably going to order first, get them loving the product. And yeah, that's like a list of names. It is literally that easy. And then I would do a review and then meet up with them again in a few days. Uh, we have different groups. So we have like a group whereby um, we have like a customer testimonial group and then we have our team group. So like I'd always say then to people that we have weekly Zoom calls, which I, you probably do too, and get people on the calls. Because I find if you don't get on weekly calls, you almost get a little bit we all, st you know, you might start to feel a bit flat and then you get like almost recharged from Zoom calls or events. And I think they're the most important things. And definitely when someone starts the business, the sooner you can get them to an event, the better as well. Great. So I've got a question for you. And whilst I'm answering this question, if anyone on the, in the team has a question, um, write it in the chat box. And then at the end, we'll answer some questions you guys might have. But in the yeah, meantime, brilliant. Amy... Have you had any challenges or anyone, any negativity since you started? 
Oh, Lord. Okay. How long do we have? <laughs> to be honest, um, every day, yeah. every single day. But are they growing my business? Hell no. Do I care what they think anymore? No. Because, like, I now surround myself with different types of people, people who grow me as a person and people who grow my business every day. So do people come up to me and tell me that I'm selling some rubber seed juice thing and it's stupid and it's network marketing and it's a scam? And of course they do. But that is just people's own fear. Maybe just people just don't know what it is. So it's up to us to educate people to what it is. It's not to get defensive about it, but it's just to let them know, you know, what you're doing. So I remember, oh, there's so many times people have been so negative. People, like, I, I, I get it, like I said, every single day. Have I had struggles in the business? Absolutely. Have I struggled to get customers? Yes. Have I struggled to get distribu distributors? Absolutely. You know? But what has kept me here is that I am so passionate about this product and I'm so, so passionate about this um, business. I mean, if I didn't keep going, like, if I let the negativity get to me, like with the first few no's that I got, I wouldn't be where I am because I've got a hell of a lot of no's to be where I am today. And you, you need to learn to accept the no's because they're going to get you one step closer to a yes. And, you know, every time you get a no, you know, you're like I said, then, then you'll get a yes. And then you'll be like, oh, okay, that felt quite nice. Okay, I'll keep going. You'll get a few more no's, you know, and then you'll get another yes. And then you get, you know, you get the yeses quicker then because you're getting better and you're getting better. It just takes practice. But I get negativity on social media, so then I just unfriend the person, that's fine. Um, and plus, when you start to succeed or when you start to do well in anything in life, you know, apart from this product or, or apart from this business, you're going to get negativity. Like, that's just normal. But it's about rising above that. It's, it's about, you know, surrounding yourself with the right people, reading the right books, and actually just pushing through it. And uh, that is when you, know, you really, really grow as a person. Like, I have to take myself out of my comfort zone every single day with this business, but it has really enabled me to grow as a person. And each time I do it, of course I get negativity, but if you're to listen to it, it like, I mean, why I, I just, no, I can't listen to it. I just don't tolerate negativity. As you can probably tell, I'm like, you know, talk to your upline, talk to your mentor, you know, let off some steam. Like they've been in the same position as you. Of course, nobody likes getting negativity, but you know, the better you get dealing with it, the, the actually less that you get. It's brilliant. Okay. Yeah, that's true. It's like the whole thing of you get what you tolerate, isn't it? So if you tolerate negativity, then you're just going to... You're going to attract more of it. Yeah. I think that like, I always think we've had a lot of negativity, but like it's now I don't even notice it. Like it's literally, I think, you're, if your belief is really strong in the product, your belief is really strong in the business, it's like you're wearing this invisible armor that no one can touch yeah. you. You just don't even notice it anymore. Um, I'm interested to know, Amy, like, if you don't mind sharing, what, um, what are your goals for this month? like your own personal goals? Because I think it's, For my we try and do a little goal setting, but I think it's interesting to hear other people's goals to see how you construct yours. Yeah, okay. So what I used to do was like, and I think at times we can all do this. So my team is growing quite big at the minute. And what I used to do is I used to set myself really, really, really unrealistic goals. Okay. So I used to set my goals way too big and I wouldn't reach them, and I'd feel really bad about myself. Whereas what I've started to do is I've like scaled right back. Um, I'm an extremely driven person, I'm extremely ambitious, so there's times where I can, you know, I wanna do loads, and you know, it's not always realistic. So what I do is, at the minute I'm focusing on 2,000 volume and two distributors, okay? So this means it's keeping my orders coming in, because I think, um, People who love the product, like customers, when you look after people really well and they get really good results, they make the best distributors because they're, they're already doing the business because they're already telling people. So it's just a very easy transition then to become a distributor. It also means you can do really, really good customer care. So 2,000 volume, it's a bit different in Ireland, but it is roughly about eight premiums, um, you know, or about three or four gold plans. But it means you can give those people, like I said, really good customer care hopefully turn them into a distributor and focus on two new distributors and get them off to a flying start. And then my goals then, um, so that's my, my own personal goal, but then I'll have a goal then with each one of my team members. And then I focus on getting them to where they want to be. 
I do my 2002 and then that means I'm duplicating because if you bring someone into the business and say okay my goal is to get um, 15 orders this month and uh, 16 distributors and they're like I'll never be able to do that like this business to make it successful is by making it duplicatable I mean when your business is duplicating that is when it is truly successful because how can you look after you know if you take on you know, let's say 20 new distributors this month, you can't look after them properly. Whereas if you take two, focus on two. And I think when you break it down and all of a sudden then you're taking that off quite early in the month, it's a really, really good feeling. And then you're going into the next month with a bang. So to be honest, yeah, I, I've just scaled it right back. But then, you know, each month you're taking in two new distributors and let's say eight customers focusing on them and then I do the same. But I will have a goal with all my team members as well. Yeah, I think mean, that's really good because it's like, you'll have to work hard to get that but it's not unachievable so that's a good we're, we're focusing on the 825 plus one for everybody aren't we yeah but we're trying to we're almost racing each other to do it um so that we do exceed that yeah a bit yeah. of friendly competition <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh it always uh very welcome but it's like i think that the, the th we call it the thousand and one um and you know it's just very realistic for people because when somebody's new in the business it's very easy to get three or four of their family. So that's them ticked off. So, you know, let's say you get someone new, you go, okay, I want you to find, you know, four people that want to take the product and one friend that would love to be in the business with you. That's totally achievable in your first month. So if you keep doing that, that's another thing I do with my new team members. If I get them to focus on doing a thousand and one or um, eight to five plus one. And um, it just means that your business is basically doubling every single month. If you were to start today and do a thousand and one, you and your, and your new team member and keep duplicating like that within six months, you'd be the position of senior sales coordinator. Mm. Like, that's mind blowing. And then the following month, your business is gonna double again. But it means that the structure is very stable as well. Love it. So I don't know if anyone's got any questions, but I'm going to ask you one more. If anyone's got one, type in the comments now. But I've got my final question for you, which Go is for it. off of MLM Nation podcast. I don't know if you've heard that one. The um, which one? There's a podcast called MLM Nation, which stands for Multi Level Marketing Nation. And he asks all of his millionaires, um, earners, if you were picked up and put in America and you had to start all over again, What's the first thing you would do to start building your business? Who? What's the first thing I would do to build my business? It'd be start recruiting straight away. Yeah, where would you yeah. go? If you didn't have, imagine you had no, all, no, all your Facebook friends were gone. What yeah. would you do? Oh, if I had nobody. Yeah. yeah. And like, okay, so I was literally put in another country, didn't know anybody, had no Facebook, had no nothing. Yeah. yeah. What would I do? You said to be asking me these kind of questions. <laughs> you kind of texted to me on the slide, uh, no? <laughs> oh, no, I'm only joking. I'm only joking. Um, oh, my goodness. Um, how would I start my business from the start? Okay, well, I think you need to... Um, you see, because I have so many things. I'm like, I want to say that, but I want to say that. Mm. Do you, is there any way when you're offline, like, do you find, like, some people, like, go into mum groups and stuff, don't they? Like, is there anywhere that you... Well, it's not even that. You see, like, a lot of, you see... The, the way I a lot of the way I would grow my business as well so what I would probably do is I believe okay I think a lot of people hide behind behind social media it's very easy to sit on Facebook scrolling through and liking stuff and going into groups and I think it's quite hard to build your business that way if I was put in another country now today what I would do is I would join groups that I'm interested in like yoga um, fitness groups, I would join, maybe do a makeup course, I could do a beauty course, because I find my team members are basically me, like they're girls exactly like me, and I suppose you attract the kind of person that you are. So I would start to, I suppose, build relationships and build a network of people, because social media is amazing, and I suppose it's blown up a lot of our businesses. But you can't beat face-to-face -face contact. You can't beat like just talking to someone because in social media, people can't feel your passion. They can't hear the passion in your voice. So that's what I would do, totally. I would, like I said, well, I'm in a lot of groups um, anyway. Like another thing, I'm into drama. So I find, you know, the more groups. So yeah, I'd probably just go and join drama groups, do join makeup groups, join, you know, and really build relationships. 
because when people trust you and they know you, it's so much easier to talk about the product and business. Like, I find it's like it's quite easy to talk to your family and friends about it because they will listen to you and they trust you. So that's exactly what I would do. I would join, yeah, different groups and get to know people and sign them up. <laughs> Amazing. That's so good. Yeah. We've got so many notes here. I actually have, I wrote down a few more notes here if you want me to. Yeah, please. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, God, you put me on the spot there because I was like, ooh, I could do this or I could do this. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, I do believe like social media, like I said, it is wonderful. It really is wonderful, but it can be quite easy to hide behind it. And then it becomes very hard to actually talk to a real person. You're like, oh my God, how would I say it to them? And so I think it is good to, you know, you need to utilize both. That's why it's good to have events, to do a product presentation, to literally just learn to start talking about the product to people and being able to mention it in the conversation. Okay. So, um... Yeah, I just wanted to mention a few different things. Um, let me see. I've like, like I said, I love loads of notes. Okay. So like I said, you need to be a product of the product. And I really, 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 really believe that this is because people, you'll attract people who want to be like you. And I think if you're a product of the product, like I know if I seen someone who was into fitness, who was into health, who looked well, who looked healthy, I'd want to be the same as them. I'd want to be what they're on. So that's a big thing for me is be a product of the product. Uh, be teachable like I said at the start you need to listen to your mentor because they know what they're talking about they've made the mistakes and um, so really be teachable do everything they tell you to do and um, be excited who is excited because I know I'm excited and sometimes you were like Amy I don't know what you're on but I want it because you're always bouncing around you're full of excitement I'm like yeah I know you need to be on it it's great so like if you're not excited nobody's going to like want the product off you, you know, because you're there talking about all oh, this opportunity. It's actually really exciting. And we do so much with it. And I'm sorry, but if someone was selling it to me that way, there's no way like you can see through people. So I think the more excited you are, the better because people buy people, they don't buy juice plus. And cause people sometimes would say to me or some of my team members, but, um, they're worried that somebody else might take their customer. That, that is never going to happen because people will buy off who they want to buy. So if you're excited, that's really, really attractive. So I always say you need to be excited. Um, I have another note here, use your mentor. Um, comfort zone, you really need to learn to step out of your comfort zone with this business. The day I was approached about um, doing the video, I got like a pang in my stomach. I was like, I'm not gonna be able to talk on video. Like I'm on stage a lot. Um, I won a pageant before I, like I'm the current um, hold, title holder of Miss United Nations International. Like none of that's a problem to me. Like I do burlesque, I have no problem being on stage, but because that feels like almost like an alter ego for me. But to appear in a video as me, as Amy, just sitting there, I was like, oh no, you know, fear you know, kicked in straight away. And I was like, no, I can't. Starting up loads of reasons why I shouldn't, why I can't, negative, negativity start creeping in. Then I went, you know what? What if I was to say no to this? Again, what if? What if, fear of missing out. So sent yes. And the next thing I was going to London in a couple of weeks. Um, didn't know any people there, but of course they're all amazing. Mm -hmm. And you know, the friendships you make. And then I got to be in a video and it's amazing. And you know, you really need to learn to step out of your comfort zone because it's, anyone can just sit back and say, no, anyone can just say, I'm not going to go to the event. No, I'm scared. Or I'm not going to get up and do the presentation, you know? So I always say you need to learn very quickly to step out of your comfort zone. It's not going to feel nice the first few times, but then it, I promise you it gets easier and then you move on to the next thing and then you're moving on to bigger things. So I, I, I will say you really need to learn to step out of your comfort zone. Like every day, like I get that kind of nervous feeling, but then it becomes exciting. So um, step out of your comfort zone. And the biggest thing I say with this business is we are very highly paid storytellers. So you just need to tell your story because guess what? We don't hold any stock. So if somebody says no to you, so what? It's not costing you anything. You don't have stock you're trying to get rid of. That is a huge benefit to this business. And the more relaxed you are, the more natural you are, the more inclined somebody's going to be interested in what you're selling. So I always say that to people, like learn to love the product, just naturally tell your story. And that's literally what we get paid to do. When we stand up and do a presentation, we are just telling people a better product story. We're telling people a better business story. That is basically what we are paid to do in a nutshell.
is share our stories, share other people's stories. So I always say we're very high, highly paid storytellers. Uh, consistency. There's no point posting on Facebook six times one day, you're disappeared off the face of the earth for six weeks, and then you come back with a bang about how you're eating salads and you're doing all your stuff. That's not, people can see through that. And I'm, I'm very honest at times, you know, and like it, it, you need to be consistent every single day. And I think sometimes people try and do too much in one day or, you know, they, they set themselves a goal. Like I need to post on Facebook, you know, 10 times a day and I need to do this. I need to speak to 15 people. It, if you say, okay, I'm going to post on Facebook, let's say four times a day. I'm going to drink my water. I'm going to take my capsules and I'm going to make sure I talk to one person about the business today. Isn't that so much nicer? And can't you do that every single day? And that's much more beneficial than talking to 15 people one day and nobody for three weeks. Mm -hmm. So that's a big thing with being consistent. So maybe keep it in bite sizes, but make sure you do it every day. You can talk to your mentor about this. I'm sure Dan and Harry are only absolutely delighted to break this down with you. And keep it really simple. This is a part-time business. Like a lot of people work for full-time, have full-time businesses, have families, and they're able to do this business. This business, you could break it down. What I do is, I break it down into 15 minute snippets. So I'll do 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes on my break. You need to be organized. So know who you're talking to every single day so that you're not thinking, oh, you spend a half an hour wasting time scrolling through Facebook, wondering who you're gonna to speak to. If you're organized, it will only take an hour a day. That's all this business takes. The company does everything for you. We don't have to do the work. Also, we, like, we don't even process the order. The company does and they pay us. So we literally place our order online. It's shipped anywhere in the world, 26 countries. It's actually mind blowing and we get paid. It's that easy. So once you're organized and once you're consistent, but keep it so that you can make it consistent. I'd rather someone do small little bits every single day than loads one day and none the next. And you know, so that's a big thing for me. I think for this business, you need to be kind, you need to be genuine, and you need to be sincere. Because if you know anyone that's been in this business a long time, I'm sure you could walk into a room with people you've, you don't even know what you're supposed to, and you'll walk away with friends. And I really, really, really mean that. Because they are the kindest, most genuine, and sincere people there is. And, and I think you really need to have those qualities to last in this business. Because if you're not sincere, people are going to see through you. And if you're not genuine, people will see through you. And you do need to be kind. You need to want this for other people. Like, I really, really, really want this for my team more than I do myself. And I really mean that. And if you help people get to where they want to be, you will get to where you want to be. And you'll have everything that you want. And that's, I really, really mean that. Um, never say no. Learn to stop saying no. Because you're saying no, you're saying no to massive opportunities. Like I, I, you can tell I'm a little tad bit passionate. But if I had said no two years ago, I would have said no to new friends. I wouldn't have met Dan. I wouldn't have met Laura. Like Laura, my upline is literally one of my best friends. She is now my bridesmaid. Like for my wedding. Like if she had said no, I won't speak to Amy about the product. I would not be as healthy as I am. I would not be as well off as I am. I, wouldn't, I, I, I would still be in my full-time business working 14 hours a day. So why would you say no? Like I never, ever, ever say no. I was only three weeks in the business and I, I was asked to get up in front of 600 people and tell my product story. And I was in the chair saying, oh, no way. Simon Bowler, as you know, uh, Dan, what he's like, when, when Simon wants you to do something, like you can't really say no. And I was thinking, oh, no, no. But I got up and I, and I did it and it was brilliant. So I've never said no since I've started this business. I like never, ever, ever uh, wanted to say no. So I would always um, say that, uh, um, never say no. Have gratitude. If you are not grateful in this business, you aren't, ain't going to go anywhere. And I really mean that. When your uplines are telling you to get in a call or they're tagging you in something, it's for your own benefit. And like, I would always have so much gratitude for my mentor for, you know, she's put a lot of work into that. And, you know, I'm so grateful that they're organizing those Zoom calls for me or events for me. So I'll make damn sure I'm there and I'll make sure I'm grateful for it as well. Like, I'm literally one of the most grateful people ever. Like, I'm grateful for it. And you need to be grateful for everything. But that goes for um, in life as well is about being so grateful. Um, read books. Um, so this is the, when you're, um, working with our business you need this so this is the Jim Rohn CD it's called building your business I think it's five pound 
it's oh sorry four pound it's the best four pound you'll ever spend it's absolutely amazing um these are just some of the books here so go uh, go for no so that's really good uh the magic so here this is all about gratitude and i'm telling you when you start practicing gratitude amazing things things just start happening it's, it's really amazing how to get from where you are to where you want to be and how to win friends and influence people so they're just some now. I mean, I literally, my, my, sh my shelves are full of all these kind of books now. This is all I listen to and this is all I really listen to. Oh, I think somebody's just talking. Um, <laughs> two, two questions just been posted. One, um, so yeah. so Jenna wanted to know, um, what do you say when somebody asks what you do? Like, in a, you know, what's your 60 second spiel about what the business is? Oh, and someone's like, oh, what's this, you know, oh, the, the, is everyone is muted there? I can hear myself speaking. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, oh, for some reason, I could hear myself speaking, and you know, that's real disorientating, I was like, it was, it was like an echo. Um, what do I say? Oh, so if someone says, oh, I see you do this thing, like, what, what is it anyway? I will always say, I work for a nutritional company called Juice Plus, have you heard of it? Simple. I mean, because if you go, oh, like, it's this company, it's 20 years old, it's fruit, vegetables, berries in the capsule, it's really good, like, your hair will grow really long. You've lost them at, you know keep it simple like this business is simple it, and like even about the product it's fruit veg and berries in a capsule like everything about it is simple 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 so i would always say i, I work for a nutritional company and then um it's called juice plus have you heard of it and then they'll go "Ooh, nutritional company that's interesting and then i'll say yeah i actually have my own business and um and then the, when i mention juice plus they'll normally ask me what it is and i'll just tell them that um my product story in a nutshell. So you need to break down your story to the point that it's about 20 seconds long and just tell them, just, you know, say, be really honest, say like I went on it because um, I was lacking in energy, I just wasn't feeling great. Tears on, I feel absolutely amazing. I take it every single day. It's literally just fruit, veg and berries in a capsule. The more simple you keep it and you want people wanting more, you don't want to tell them everything straight away, and it's good to be kind of in a hurry, be like, you know, I'd love to talk about it sometime um, soon. I'm actually in a rush at the minute, but um, can I add you on Facebook and I have your number and I'll give you a ring. And so, you know, you don't want to give people everything straight away. So I would always do that as well. I think it's really important. Amazing. And um, Lila's just asked, what, do you mind sharing what your DMO is? My DMO. Okay. So my DMO, I am a very, very, very busy lady. I'm always taking stuff on and I'm all, like, I never, ever stop. I'm in about a thousand different uh, groups and classes and everything. So my DMO needs to be compressed. Um, we have two um, calls every week. So we have a business call and a product call every single week, Zoom calls. So I get on them. We have an event once a month. Um, but then also what I do is like I'd post about my lifestyle on Facebook. So I try to keep that consistent to about six times a day. I would do, let's say one product post, one business post, and then like four lifestyle posts, but strategically placing Juice Plus. Like you don't want people to go onto your newsfeed and just see Juice Plus, Juice Plus, because it can be quite off-putting. So it's about your lifestyle. You want it to be attractive. And I always think, look at your Facebook page and think, would you follow you? Because if not, well, then you need to start making changes because other people will feel the same. So my GMO would consist of social media, talking to people like who is your customer? So my customer is people in the beauty industry. So I would actually write down a list of, let's say, two beauty salons that I wanted to call. So I would have them down on my list. I would chase my likes from the day before. I would uh, touch base with, let's say, so I keep it, it's called a two by two by two by two. So talk to two of my team members, talk to two of my customers, talk to two people about the product and two people about the business. So simple and you're done. So in less than an hour, because people are gonna reply to you. Um, so that's what I do. Some days I will do more, but um, I like to, let's say, you know, like I said, keep it realistic. And it means then when you're talking to those people that you're giving value then. So if they're getting back and forth. So that's basic two by two by two by two concept. That's I've not heard yeah, I love that it. term before. It's good. Simple. Yeah. So, and by the way, you and Lila would get on like a house on fire. So, <laughs> I'm going to get her to. <laughs> um, but 
anyway, I think that's it. Is that yeah, it? Yeah, that's so good. Um, do you mind if I bang this on YouTube? Uh, oh, no, of course I don't mind. Jeez, not at all. Work away. I'm like, sorry, I'm a bit like mad. I get a bit passionate when I start talking yeah, about it. <laughs> I'm I think on days where I need a, a big smile on my screen, I'm going to um, watch this back to get me pumped again. Because yeah. you're <laughs> so, Aww. You're well, thank you for having me on. I really do appreciate it. And we'd be happy to do them for your team at any time. So yeah. just, just shout and the same, anytime you, you, uh, you'd like me on again or, you know, because I mean, this what this business is about. It's about friendships and it's about helping each other. Um, like, it's easy to look across at people who are doing well and successful. They're successful for a reason. But use that as inspiration uh, to drive yourself on. And, um, yeah, it just I think it's good. Like, we're, like, all our team are very, very close. We're all very good friends and we all help each other out. So I think that's really important. So, uh, yeah, no, thanks. Love really it. Good. Thank you so much. Thanks, Amy. Amy. And we'll see you in Birmingham. Yeah. Okay. Look forward to it. Bye. Can't wait. See you. <laughs> see you.